Hey, welcome to Super Social Club. I'm Jeremy. Today I have a single cask offering from Highland Park. It's called the Trillium. It's 12 years old. It's a refill sherry butt, bottled at 61.4% ABV. It's only available in one place in the entire world. I'll let you know where that is when I nose it, taste it, and give it a mark. So this single cask is available for sale in Ontario only. It's an LCBO exclusive, limited to just 556 bottles. It was selected by a panel of judges, including my friend and your boy, Rob Whiskey in the Six. Him and two other representatives from the LCBO were invited by Highland Park to try three different samples of three different single casks. They were all refill sherries. There was a 12 year old, a 13 year old, and a 14 year old, I believe. And they all picked this 12 year old to represent Ontario and be sold here. Um, really cool opportunity for Rob to kind of be invited out and be part of the selection process. Really cool bottle, really cool opportunity. Um, let's see if you made a good choice. So the bottle comes in this burlap type of sack, kind of cool, I guess. Um, I think Trillium is Ontario's provincial flower, so I think that's where the name comes from. Let's get into it. Um, I'm going to add some water. What I do when I do reviews, I always try a whiskey numerous times. Um, I'll add water just to experiment with it. If I think the water improves it, I'll add it every single time. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm just going to add water, probably about like 10 or 12 drops uh, for this size pour. I just think that with the heat, in this whiskey, 61.4%, I believe, yep. Yeah. Um, the finish, I noticed, was a little hot. So I'm gonna add water, and when I think a whiskey needs water, I just add water every single time. I don't think there's any point in tasting it neat when I know that water is gonna improve it, so I'm just gonna drink it how I feel is in the best state, and that's with water with this. So let's go in the nose. So right away, you get a lot of like baking spices here. You get a lot of like, uh, bread kind of notes, shortbread, um, you get some fruit, you get a lot of really nice citrus, orangey kind of notes. Yeah, like orange peel. And you get like a quite a bit of like maltiness in this one as well. There's some nice honey notes in here, a little bit of oakiness, not too much. And I don't notice any peat at all, no peat on the nose whatsoever. But yeah, really nice nose, nice complex, baked goods, baking spice, nice honeyness. Really nice, really like heavy, heavy malt as well. Really nice on the nose, stripe palette. All those baking spices that I got on the nose carry over to the palate as well. You get um, baking spice, like baked bread. You get like sugar cookies. You get um, like Danish butter cookies. I don't know if you ever had those. Um, I've, I don't really like them that much, but you get that on here and it's not unpleasant at all for me who's someone who doesn't even like butter cookies. You get that and it's good. Um, then like a lot of sweetness. You get like literal like white refined sugar. It kind of tastes just like that. That honey's there again. And then the finish, nice rich vanilla. And you get that Highland Park, that heathered kind of peat shows up on the finish. Really, really nice. Um, that citrus and orange is present there on the, on the finish as well. Nice long lingering notes. Um, really, really nice whiskey. Um, this is what I would call like a challenging whiskey. It's one that kind of evolves in the glass. Um, every time you kind of go back to it, you get something maybe a little bit different. I kind of like that about it. It's kind of like that chameleon factor. Something you kind of got to dig into for a long period of time and multiple times to kind of pick out all those different spices, all that different like baked goods. Um, they're all kind of come out a little bit different each time. So kind of really cool uh, single cask. Um, score wise for me on this one, I like the fact that it's like a challenging whiskey. I like the fact that it's a bit, you know, it, it's, it's evolving constantly. Um, not really Highland Park character. It's, it's kind of off. Um, not in a bad way at all. It's just different from their house kind of style. And, you know, maybe that's the reason why Highland Park was, you know, offering this up to be a single cask offering um, along with those other, other two samples, just because this doesn't really meet like their house kind of style. Um, and Toronto Whiskey Society, 
they were able to purchase um, a barrel, you know, through Heads and Tails and Whiskey Agency of a whiskey from Highland Park that was maybe, you know, out of their style as well, out of the house style. Um, so maybe that's, you know, a reason why distilleries are selling off some cash just because it doesn't meet with their, with their house style whiskey. So kind of cool. Um, if you're expecting Highland Park, it's a little different, um, but definitely a whiskey um, for someone who's looking to be challenged, someone who's looking to like dive into something for a long period of time. I think you're going to get like kind of rewarded from that. So score wise for me, I'm giving it a 89 out of 100. But let's talk value here. Ontario prices, if you guys know, they're just the worst in the world almost. Um, 250 Canadian dollars for this. Overpriced, definitely. Um, I think I'd be comfortable paying 150 for this. So I'm taking off a point and a half for value. That's gonna bring it down to uh, 87 and a half out of 100. But great pick by them, I think. Um, Really nice whiskey, pretty unique as far as Highland Parks go. Um, thanks for watching, really appreciate it. Like, comment, subscribe. Let me know um, um, a barrel pick or a store pick or some kind of whiskey that's only available kind of maybe in your area or your kind of location that you really like as well. Um, LSB doesn't get really many single barrel offerings. I know lots of places in the States get lots of different bourbon, you know, store picks that are always kind of really cool um, to try out. So let me know what your favorite is in the comments down below. Appreciate it as always, guys. Have a good one. Cheers.